Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. For those of you joining for the first time today, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. It is Friday. The weekend is coming. Um, tell you guys to go out there, have a good weekend, spend some time with your friends and family, and just get some rest and relaxation. Uh, go see a movie, watch some football, do what you got to do to just be able to relax and enjoy yourselves this weekend. Um, there are some good movies out in the theaters, so go out there, check one of those out, and then come home and watch your favorite football team or whatever it is that you do on the weekends. Guys, we finished the day green today when the rest of the market was red. That looks good for us just in our minds, right? Like we know that these numbers are not where they need to be. We know that this is just, it's another day and we're ready to keep rolling with what happens. Um, but it's good to see that like that the, the market didn't drag us down with it because in the past we've seen that when, um, like looking at, um, you know, what, what the S and P did today, the, the NASDAQ were both down over 1%, you know, NASDAQ was down one and a half. Um, and the Dow was down almost a percent. Usually when that happens, we're down way more than that. All right. And that didn't happen today. And that's really good to see. Um, sentiment might be changing a little bit or it's just, it's, it just happened. Right. Um, the additional shares have now hit what are showing on the outstanding shares. If you're looking at Ortex, it's no longer 158 million, it's 198 million. So there are now the more shares in the market that um, we didn't see the decrease in that. And there, but there, there will be more shares to available to borrow initially. Uh, looking at Stonko Tracker, it showed that there's like 5.7 million shares available to borrow. That's fine. All right. Um, when you when you look up stuff about dilution online, it shows, you know, like a lot of what's talked about is that it decreases the shareholders ownership of the company, right? Like we all understand that we all know what that means. What it doesn't tell you when you Google or look up and wherever you look up what dilution is, it does not tell you what apes are doing. Okay, it that is not built into Google's algorithm yet. Okay, we have not. We're we're getting there. We're getting to the point where they're going to start realizing this, that we're just going to buy those shares up. We're going to buy shares. We're going to continue to buy them, and it's not going to affect our ownership in the company as far as a percentage standpoint, because apes buy and hold. Okay. We know that we've been doing it for a long time. We're going to continue to do it. We are now just going to be able to have more shares. Okay. Somebody asked me a question in the comments about um, dilution and causing a short squeeze. You're never going to find anything online that says the two and two that, that one will cause that dilution will cause a short squeeze. But what I can tell you from me, just doing research and looking things up, one of the ways that a, that dilution could help a short squeeze is to create liquidity in that specific stock right up until just recently guys we've been at a hundred percent utilization okay meaning that the, the shares are not there to be traded as fluently as they are like now okay in order for this for the squeeze to happen somebody's going to have to start selling shares and it's gonna it it would be better if they were real shares instead of just institutions selling back and forth to make it look like it's going up slowly. They're going to turn the, instead of their ladder attacks going, bringing it down, it's going to slowly bring it up, right? Well, if there's some additional new shares on the market, it could cause that liquidity where shares are going to be able to be traded back and forth more easily, slowly bringing that price up. Okay. We need, obviously the price needs to start going up for the squeeze to happen. But when that price starts going up because these extra shares are on the market and we're going to buy them and that will innately bring the price up, you know, slowly. And at some point it's, you know, it's going to happen where it's going to be big. We're waiting for that first small hedge fund to say, see you guys, I got to get out of here. They close their positions and that takes it from, you know, it takes it from this to this, right? And it, it makes that price start jumping faster and higher. Okay. And then it, it's a trickle effect where then more and more hedge funds are going to have to get out of the stock um, by closing their short positions because they can't afford to take this loss until it gets down to the big ones that are going to be bailed out by the government. We know that. 
some of these little ones would not get the same bailouts as the bigger ones would. So that's why I think that a little hedge fund is going to be somebody who starts to get out of the process first so that they can still survive and and live this, you know, tell the tale of how they survived the, the MOAS of 2023, 2024, whatever year it happens in, guys. It's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. We're just still waiting. All right. Uh, more than that, the fundamentals of the company are, you know, are continuing to get better. And we've talked about that enough. One thing that I'm going to mention about it that I think is going to make a big difference. And Adam Aaron mentioned it in his tweet talking about getting through the writer's strike and the, and the strike that's going on throughout Hollywood. I'm excited for the, for when that settles, right? When you look, when you look at other strikes that have happened and once, once things that, once things get resolved, typically after a strike, you see just amazing work come out of these people because they feel refreshed and they feel validated in what they just went through. So all of a sudden, they start just producing a lot better. So this writer's strike, once they get this stuff figured out, I imagine there's going to be some amazing movies that are being written after this because hey we we feel very you know we were validated in what we were going through now we're going to go out there and we're going to put out the best stuff that we did to prove that what we were fighting for is the truth and is right and i'm i'm excited about that all right there's been a lot of great movies that have come out i think there was a period of time where there weren't such great movies but of course covid happened and it slowed down movies coming out and so i think we're seeing some of those trickle into the theaters now still but there's going to be some awesome movies coming out. There's going to be some awesome uh, like comedy shows. Like the one of the radio stations I listen to in the morning, there's co there's comics on there all the time. And even they talk about the writer's strike and how it affects their business. Um, what does comedy have to do with the AMC or the movie theaters? Probably nothing. All right. But it's just going on to say that like we're going to see some awesome things come forward after the strike gets over. And who knows? Maybe they'll – with all the different things that are starting to stream, they're going to start streaming in AMC theaters. Maybe a comic, maybe a comedy show will be one of them, right? You never know who knows what's going to happen, but we're going to be here to see it when it does happen. All right. So keep that in mind that as soon as the strike is over, we're probably going to see some pretty awesome movies coming out. And obviously like most of us love the movies and we're going to go do that. Um, guys, I want to I want to take a minute. So tomorrow I'm going to do my live video. All right. I'm going to do the live video tomorrow. It's going to be at uh, 1.30 p.m. Arizona time, which is 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. And I will put a um, I'll put a, a, a message out in the community tab on YouTube later so that you all can can see that and um, try to figure out whatever time zone you're in and where that kind of lines up with you. Um, if you don't know, the easiest way to do it is get on your cell phone, go to the world clock, type in Arizona, and just see the difference of time, right? Um, it's it's pretty simple to figure out, so you shouldn't have a problem there. And if you're watching this and you want to get the notification, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can join into that live video when, when you see it pop up on your uh, notifications tomorrow afternoon. I want to remind you guys that the my, my purpose for this live video is for just for all of us to just connect, to just connect with each other. My main motivation behind doing this, this channel and the, and the live video or the live, the live stream tomorrow is to keep the motivation, keep the positivity going. I will not answer questions that are dumb or negative, or if you're, I'm not going to respond to you. If you're, uh, you know, if you're, if you're talking crap about me or whatever, like go ahead and do it. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I'm not going to waste my time answering you. I'm going to talk to the people out there who have like genuine questions or that just want to, you know, just, just talk to talk, um, bring a drink, bring, bring something. Let's just, it's going to be this. We're just going to be hanging out as friends, drinking and, and chilling with each other. Um, I am going to have some sort of probably bourbon or whiskey and I'm, and probably a cigar. I'm going to be sitting outside talking to you guys. And I look, and I look forward to that with you as well. Um, I know that I won't be able to see you, but I'm going to know you're out there with me. So when it happens, um, I'll mention it again tomorrow. Let me know in the comments what you're drinking or if you're just drinking water, like that's great too.
if there's a topic that you want that you like specifically want me to talk about, let me know. Cause obviously like, so I'm going to be honest. I'm not like, I'm not going to have to type obviously my answers out cause it's not a comment thing, but I want to make sure to, to get to everybody's questions or comments or whatever that I can. So if there's a, but if there's a topic you want to talk about, let's, let's start with that. And so leave, leave me a message in the comments so that I can see it and talk about it tomorrow. Guys, I am looking forward to meeting, to catching up with you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to continuing to watch this, this momentum going that I think we started this week. We saw this again, we saw this upward trajectory. I mentioned it in my video yesterday. Go check that out. Um, we finished the week green. It was like 16 point something percent green this week. Guys, we've seen this in the past. We can keep going. We can dip again, but we know that the prices aren't real. We know that we're on the right track, that we're in the right play and that things are going to, that things are going to happen. We don't know when, but we know it's going to happen. I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't be worried about it. So just just stay the course, buy and hold, and just be positive about it. All right? Guys, I'll talk to you soon. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Stay positive. Stay motivated. Stay motivating. Later.